For this part of the question, I asked you to modify the circuit to count in octal rather than decimal. Now you can see the counter here is counting in decimal where it counts from 0 to, to 9 back to 0 again. So if we wanted to count in octal, it should count from 0 to 7 and then back to 0 again. Now the solution to this is, is su surprisingly straightforward. Um, we could design a logic circuit to um, using NAND gates or using logic gates to recognize um, the value 8, 1, 0, 0, 0. Um, but the thing is, we're very lucky in that the Q4 state only goes high in the situation where uh, we get to the number 8 because that represents uh, the, the, the weighted value of 8. And for that reason, we can modify the circuit fairly straightforwardly. So here is, uh, here's Q4 uh, on our circuit, so that's pin, pin 6 is Q4. And then the reset pin is, is, this, is this black pin here, pin 14, and that's currently set uh, to ground. If I remove that pin, you'll see that uh, it has an effect on the, on the counter. Well, <laughs> it doesn't this time. It will. It may have an effect on the counter, depending on how it's received as a 0 or 1, depending on the noise in the circuit. And if I if I change in this uh, this pin into pin uh, uh, 14, you'll see that well it has no immediate effect, but you'll see when we get to the number eight, it goes back to zero instantly. So it never it it, it actually does get to eight, but it gets there for such a small amount of time that um, it goes back to zero. If you were to make the mistake to design the circuit for zero one one one. Uh, you'd notice that, well, it looks like it's the right answer, but the problem is that 7 wouldn't appear. As soon as it reaches 7, it would go back to 0. So the correct state to design for is 1000, which is 8. And we're very lucky that we can do this with just a single wire, rather than having to develop a logic circuit.